Manson. Why does that uh why does that shag carpeting look familiar? I'm in your basement, asshole. <laughs> so what are you doing there? Come upstairs. All the porno is down here. Oh, you found that uh, secret stash? Yeah, it's not a secret. It's lying all over the floor. Yeah, it was a secret to us. Come on upstairs. All, all right. right. Well, let's, you know what? Let's just use it on the one camera. All right. All right man. Black, black, black. Thanks, buddy. Hey, what are you doing here? All right, do you want something to lean on? I was going to lean on the back of your chair. You go. Right. Then I can look cool. The Get composition comfy. is a lot better. Get comfy while I have some gum. Black, black. You know that it's it's made from babies. Even better. Caffeinated babies. While I uh, attempt to open this, because it's obviously baby proof. You know, there should be a pull tab on it. You probably don't have to fuss that much with it. Oh, this yeah. is right there. Oh, yeah. The part that says open. Yeah. And I opened it on this side. Uh, what are you doing here? And why are you in my house? Um, I was planning to creep you out, but it didn't really work out so well because I found I found your porn stash, and I'll tell you, I'm the one who's creeped out. Yeah, I have some vintage stuff there. Yeah, like Victorian donkey porn. <laughs> that that kind of mm, like I don't know if it's good enough for the queen. Don <laughs> don donkey donkey dick and bustles. I, I don't think they mix. <laughs> I don't think they mix. Corsets, yes. Bustles, no. Do you want one? No, no thanks. I, I can't chew sugar gum. It rots my teeth. I know somebody related to us who's never had a piece of gum in their life. What? Yeah. There are uh, people out there who have never chewn, chewn gum. Oh, it must be like an old person who's like, that's disgusting. It looks like you're just jawing away and chewing your gum. My grandmother hated it because she thought it reminded her of cows. Of cows? Yeah. Oh, like the, uh, what is it that the cows eat? But that's not true. She actually chewed gum. She chewed free dent because she had dentures. Right. Therefore, I grew up chewing free dent. Uh, you can't blow good bubbles with free dent, though. No. It's kind it's of. a hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. I, I used was, to get like yeah. four or five of those and put it in my mouth. Oh, the whole pack. Just. Yeah. I used to save it, though, like when I was done. For like, I'd leave it on my bookshelf. Really? Yeah, because it, it still had flavor for a couple of days. I usually kept them for a couple of weeks, the, the, and I would add more to it. So I would be like, "Did like, you? Because you could blow really baseball? good bubbles." The baseball gum. What's oh, it baseball called? gum was good. The smell of it. Yeah. You know, kids today, they're like now the baseball is such a collectible thing. They won't put gum in with it because, but the smell <laughs> of those old baseball cards, or oh, I didn't no, have, no. not baseball cards. I had, I had hockey cards. Hockey cards. No, I'm not talking about the. Um... The actual stick that came with the cards? Stick. In my day, it wasn't a stick. It was the shape of a card. It wasn't just that little narrow. It was like a, it was the same size. as The stick of gum was the same size as the card. Oh, okay. This pink thing. Hockey cards, not baseball cards. Hockey cards, yeah. No, I had hockey cards too, but I don't remember that. I just remember regular size. You must have collected, you must have collected them later than I did. OPG, I, no? OPG, but I, but they changed. They changed. They did the, the one-third of the size of the regular ones. Really? Yeah, when I, first got, when I first started collecting them, they were the size of the card themselves. Oh, no, I don't like, remember that. It was hard as a rock, too. You could accidentally shatter it, right? Yeah. You drop the thing, you open it, like there's pieces everywhere, like a shattered windshield. Mm -hmm. A pink, shattered pink windshield. Anyway, when I said um, when I what? said that type of gum, yeah, I didn't mean uh, baseball gum. I meant, uh, you know that shaved gun gum that came in a... Oh, oh the yeah, that was supposed to be like chewing tobacco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what was, was that called? That called? Um, what was that shaved gum called? It was shredded. It was shredded... Um, Shredded gum, not shaved gum. Shredded. Shredded. Oh, I shouldn't say shaved. Yeah, don't oh. say shaved. Shaved, shaved will give gums. you something. Oh, that's. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Is not... that even possible? Shredded, shaved gum. I, I guess, but no. Do, I'm do... just talking about the image I just pulled up. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's photoshopped. Uh, shredded. That's. Like that. Yeah, shredded gum, baseball. Um, Big League Big Chew. Chew. Big Son League Chew. That stuff was good, except it went bad really fast. Did it? I don't. I always ate it so quickly. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. But I was. I. I oh. You actually hate gum. And it, no. I, the tube gum. Remember the tube gum? Yeah. And the pink tube, what and you squeeze called? it out. Tube gum. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! High technical, excellent taste and flavor. This is right there. Yeah, some English there for you. <laughs> I'm surprised it's even that good. It's 
Speed. Say Lotto? Hmm? Well, it says Lot. Lotte. It's the name of the company that makes it. That makes it? Oh. Korean company, actually. Really? Yeah, Lotte. And they sell this in Japan? Yeah. Oh. It's a Japanese... Wait, they, it's a... Yeah, it's a pretty standard brand in Japan. They make the best Japanese chocolate as well. Oh, nice. Didn't but, bring any of that, though. No. You know, I love chocolate. Yeah, that's why I thought I should avoid it, because you know what happens? You get hyper when you have chocolate. <laughs> I feel great now! We're peeling you off the ceiling. I feel great! The caffeine I can handle, the caffeine I can handle, just makes you go red in the face. My hair really that bad. <laughs> well, you're seeing it in reverse right now. It, 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 how, how does that make a difference? Well, actually, no, it's you're on the right side. Yeah, but so that's not... How does that make it... How so would that make a it difference? It naturally anyway? looks this bad. Yeah, no... I don't understand what what seeing it opposite would have. Well, because you're used to your part being in. Or I don't have like... a part. That's the problem. <laughs> it's just my hair starting to get long. This, this I think always I should shave it off. Weird, because because it's always on the other side. But now that we're recording directly in the computer, right? I can shape it. Here, let me put it right in the middle, more like a Superman. Superman. Baby um, Elvis. Shawshank Redemption. That was the movie. That's not a time travel movie. No, but it's a short. Uh, oh, short movie. Oh, yeah. uh, Stand by Me. Oh, Stand by Me was short too. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, it was a short story. It was a short. It wasn't called Stand by Me. It was called something else. But oh, it was okay. a Stephen King short story. Yeah. Um, no, the best. Some of the best. The There's best a lot adaptations. Of in that movie though. Yeah, they they well, short. That's the thing though. Short stories can actually have a lot of scenes in a very short mm -hmm. amount of time. Like short stories just naturally adapt better. Yeah. No, I um, I went you, to you don't, have to, you don't have to leave shit out. You can add stuff. You can actually add detail, which was what you want. Yeah, the man who folded himself. Yeah, is what I'm reading right now. This is a really good story. Kobo. Uh, everyone's got one of those. My dad has one of those. Kobo. Yeah. Well, they're cheap, oh. and they work in Canada. So, get work, this if you live in Canada. They work in Canada. Well, they well I mean, you could you can go on and purchase stuff. Oh. I mean, you can do that with the Kindle too, but the Kindle has like all that other stuff. You know where. If you're going to buy it, um, you know, I want to be able to download a movie. I want to be able to download music onto it. Uh, it's not available. Those services aren't available in Canada. So why not just buy a Kobo that works in Canada for books and then go and torrent the rest? No, I, I, I'm still using my, my, B, my, my B book Neo. Oh, really? Yeah. You still have it? Yeah, I still use it. Well, I mean, it's never going to go bad, right? No, no, and it's, but yeah. it's a pain in the ass to transfer files to it because I have to do it. I used to usually use Calibre to do it. Yeah. yeah, I love that program. But um, but it's just like, it's a pain. Calibre is fucking slow transferring files over to over yeah. USB. And but, uh, have you purchased anything through them? Through Calibre? Yeah. You can go to their store. No, why would I? They take... actually, uh, when you search within it, you can, it'll suggest... Uh, multiple stores, oh. and it'll tell you which one has the cheapest. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I've I, only searched. No, but I, haven't... I, I, I use Calibre for cracking the Amazon stuff, so I can All do right. it on my B book. Right. <laughs> I download. I download something from Amazon, and then that I, doesn't always work, though. And I mean, yes, it does. Does it? It's. I've never had a problem with it. Okay, the stuff that you've purchased through I Amazon. Pur I purchased through Amazon. Yeah. Right. And I get it into the Amazon, the Kindle reader. I download it so it ends up as a file on my computer. Mm -hmm. I take that file. I move it. I've got the plugin, the the decryptor plugin. Oh, okay. For Calibre. Right. Drag it across. It decrypts it, and then I've got the what is it? The Mobi format. Mm -hmm. It's Mobi, right? Yeah. I got the Mobi format, and they can go right on my B book. Okay, so you have a decryptor that will actually, and this is a Calibre plugin. plugin. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you just have to look for that. Yeah. You gotta send me that link. Uh, God knows. I, I don't. I just searched it. I just, I oh, just googled it. It's cool. But might... someone made it independently, yeah. not the programmer who I don't created so. Caliber, right? I don't okay. think so. I think... Okay. Canadian so... shit ports. <laughs> before, before we go, we have one feature that we have this week. It's called Canadian shit ports. You come into Canada. You haven't been here for a while. Yeah. So you have an experience the amazing customer service that is at the airport here in Toronto. What is your opinion? Oh, you're not gonna in say less that... than 30 seconds. No, actually, honestly, I didn't have a problem with Pearson this time, except uh, taking my my girlfriend went back yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, walk, we're going through, and everything's automated. It's so great. You yeah. can you now go and you've got your uh, boarding pass on your on your on your mobile phone. Yep. 
but then we wanted to print it out because on the way on the way here they had problems scanning mine because my my phone is gigantic. Right. I, I I don't know why, but anyway, I mean I know so why it's gigantic. The phone. And it couldn't read the, the scan. The reader couldn't read it at the yeah. plane, so they had to then print one for me and scan it. So this time I was like, okay, I went to the machine, printed that, printed my baggage tags. Now, I was, I, they had a sign with instructions, but I didn't want to put the baggage tag on myself because if that fucker comes off, the right. bags don't make where, make it to where they're going. Okay. So I was walking around. I was going to ask the person at the baggage check, the, the place we actually put it in, mm -hmm. to do it. Because I, cause they, 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 they're just like, <laughs> like fucking kung fu there. Right, like suitcase food. So I wanted to do that, but it didn't. Uh, so anyway, I get around and there's this woman, and she's like, "You need to put those on your bag." I'm like, and I said, "Oh, I'm sorry. I just was. I wanted to make sure I get it right because I'm really worried about that." And she interrupts me while I'm speaking, mm -hmm. and she's she says, uh, "She's like, this is how you do it." She takes one and she's like, "Now you put this through." And yet she's talking to me like I'm a three year old. Okay, right, right. it's like, you know, I can read the instructions that are back there. I just want to make a hundred percent sure that these motherfuckers don't come off. And if I do it and they come off, then guess who's going to get blamed? Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't care. They they, they don't care. But the thing you is, you lost your luggage, so it's your problem. Yeah, exactly. So I just I just wanted that. Anyway, she was really rude. Anyway, everyone else was really nice, but that I, I felt that was actually, I actually felt it was okay. What sucks about Pearson is they just don't have enough fucking stores in there anymore. No. There's nothing. It's like, go to go to the airport and in Which Tokyo. Which terminal? One. Terminal one. Yeah. yeah and it's terrible. the fucking big terminal. It's a new terminal, and it's got there's like nothing in there. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the I, on the way out. I was going to the convenience store because I was like, oh, I need to get some change for the TTC. And I go in, and I'm like, oh, I'll buy a bottle of uh, Diet Coke. Fucking two fifty, yeah. two fifty, for five hundred <laughs> and whatever milliliters the obscene size you have. But still, two fifty. I can get I can get a seven ten one at the corner store near my parents' place. For like 179. Yeah. Like, who do they think they are? This is the airport. We're not on top of Mount fucking Fuji here. Yeah. You know they don't have to. They don't have to have little guys carting the shit up on their backs. There's no reason for it to be that expensive. And you've been to Mount Fuji. I've been to Mount, and the, and basically the can, a can of Coke up there is about two, 250. 250. Yeah. But they, because you can't put a car up there, people have to walk that shit up. What is the most expensive I item? I'm oh, sorry. What's the most expensive item you ever spent, uh, or bought? I should say at an airport. A blowjob. No, um, <laughs> I don't know. Free. Do you, you got something? Um, cigars, maybe. I bought cigars for a friend who just had a baby. Oh, no, I'm not talking about, like, gifts. Oh. I'm talking about, like, food. Oh. I think I spent $23 once on, on, what? on, uh, on a Coke and a sandwich. Holy shit. $23, yeah. I, I can't think of it. I've never spent, I just don't, like, in the old days when Where it was, was really it? expensive. Yeah. I just never wouldn't buy anything. Yeah, I was desperate. All right, buddy. All right. So, uh, uh, I think that's it. That's it. Okay. So I guess. Um, so the question is, when I say, "Peace out and fuck off," do I do it to the camera or to your face? Uh, I guess you could do it to me. Peace out and fuck off, brother. All right, and I will see you in real life. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I'm right here. Let's go get some fucking pizza. Cheese seizing, pepper seizing, you can hear that. Do not you know what you said? You look like a, you smell like a, you feel like a. You taste like a double in the diddle. Nibai tanoshi, itadakimasu!